spotter. The reflection. Mm. October 18th, 2014. Here I sit in the valley in California in a pond. In a pond. How's your day been? It's been better. How are you feeling? Like on your insides? Just waiting for that bomb to drop? The pee yeah. bomb? Yeah. I had like three cups of coffee, so that helped. Does caffeine help? Yeah, definitely. I figured that out like a couple months ago because like I was in a really bad place every month and I was like, how do I fix this? And I would just drink a bunch of caffeine so it would like stimulate my mood and I'd be fine. Ooh, that shade's nice. We should go towards that. Okay, ready? Cast away. Towards El Shade. Oh, wait. I'm I not. will take us there. <laughs> oh, I don't want to lose our fishing line. I'll help. Okay, I'm going to go this way though. Wait. Which way was I? I was this way, right? Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. There okay. you go. Okay, do your side. And let's go into the shade. Perfect. Oh, we're getting good. Oh, yeah. I also keep holding on to the fact that, like, after this, I'll have an opportunity to, like, publicly say my piece, several opportunities, so. Yeah. About this whole experience? About this whole experience, yeah. It's hard to do it while you're here. And do it here, yeah, 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 too. That's why I said what I said last night at the dinner table in front mm -hmm. of everyone. Just to have it in there. People can't bring me down. Nobody. Maybe for like 30 minutes you can. Well, okay, maybe two hours. I'll give you two hours, but. <laughs> two solid hours. That's it. Somebody there. What if we caught a fish like this? Ew, we're in dirty territory. Mm. What's happening to our water? Scum water? Yeah. Like, see, like, for the first, like, three weeks, this wasn't a problem. Now it's, like, mad cucka. It's disgusting. I don't even know how to fix it. We're all, I, can't, I don't see fish either. They're, like, They're dead. It's like dead that, fish right here. Uh, I thought the show was like, that's disgusting. Ew. I'm smacking myself with the nail. We're so like deep in the water too. Like if you really look at it, it's like makes me a little nervous. <laughs> We're at like sitting level with the water. Yeah. I can't believe this boat freaking works. I know. When I saw it here, I'm like, oh cool, a decorative boat. Oh cool. Another <clears throat> decoration, another tractor. Right, the tractor, useless. The windmill. They, and this is the only. This is the first time they've ever tried to fix the windmill, but that's also useless. <laughs> I want to use that metal to make like a cool, like fashionable chest plate. <laughs> that would work. I we would could totally make do real it. medieval mm -hmm. wares. That's the thing though. Is like, like I was just telling the guys, and I'm upset, and I'm like, but it, like the thing is, and that's the terms I came to last in my whole situation. Like, we don't have a choice, so. Mm -hmm. If you're feeling sad, like, I think that's what stresses everybody out. Like, in the real world, when you feel sad, you find a solution. Mm -hmm. Here, like, the solution is we are here. You, like, go out. You see the friends that make you happy. You go to the place that makes you happy. You dance. You drink. Yeah. You laugh. Yeah. Here, it's like, you I watch guess a I'll movie. go in a boat. Yeah. But mm, there's nothing to take your mind off of it here. You really can only dwell. Even, like, when you get busy with your hands, your mind is still. Mm-hmm. So it's like, what do you do? You just get over it. Get in a boat. Because it's not really, you know, as of right now, for no one, it's been so bad where they want to walk out. Because that's literally the only thing you really could do if you were really in a bad place. Mm -hmm. But, like, other than that, you... And that's not even really that much of an option. No. Mm -mm. You'd have to really, like, push for it. Yeah. And there would be some repercussions. Mm-hmm. So we just... had many people that were at that point and tried, never succeeded. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what goes on, but uh, it must be pretty powerful. I tried twice and it was just like... You tried to leave? Yeah, but like it was, I was just like emotional. It wasn't like, I was just like, I think I should. It wasn't like, I'm going. Mm -hmm. And it was just like, nope, no, you're not. I was like, okay. The only time I was really like... Because I said a few times last night, like, it was really bad. I was like, dude, I just want to go home. 
And I feel so guilty for thinking that. That's the worst part, is I feel so guilty Mm -hmm. about wanting to go home. Because I wanted this so bad. I wanted this more than anything in the whole world. And I feel like just to even say the words or even think or feel that way makes me feel like such a hypocrite. And I am. Mm -hmm. You know? I have dreams that I leave Mm -hmm. and I walk out Mm -hmm. and I regret every last part of it. Mm -hmm. Because I see it from the outside and I'm like, you're such a freaking idiot. Why'd you do that? That's what I think too. I'm like, you know, I could leave, but I bet the minute that I leave and I see you guys here, I would hate myself. Especially this, that. we're still pretty early. Like we haven't, mm-hmm. pa- not a lot of time has passed. No. So that, that would make you feel like even more of an idiot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's not like it's April where mm-hmm. you'd be like, uh, all right. No, I've it's, Peace. it's October. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like 13 weeks is usually the average show mm-hmm. length. Mm-hmm. And we haven't even made that. Mm-hmm. This is definitely a different experience. Literally nothing like this has been done before. Mm-hmm. Duration, we talk about like, communication mm-hmm. and influence. Yeah, because I know of people that have been on similar things and like they at least get the phone and, and to go out like to different places. Like they can go out and eat at a restaurant. They can go to a club. They can call their mom. Maybe not every single day for hours, but they had it. They had it easy. They didn't because they had it. Oh, and beds, real beds. And food. Mm-hmm. For free. And, like you said, it was like three months. Yeah. That's a vacation. Mm hmm. Can you imagine if all of us knew that we were, it was only three months, what kind of how different we would be mm-hmm. looking at this. We'd mm-hmm. be like, oh, word, this is great. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. but the looming idea that it's potential. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh. <laughs> and just seeing how crazy one month can be here. <clears throat> Thankfully, October has been pretty chill, but mm-hmm. you never know who's going to walk through that gate next. You find yourself in a place where you, you worry about getting eliminated. Mm-hmm. So you're always have that in the back of your mind. So you're always trying to like perform at your top, but then you're also like, you have times where you want to leave too. Mm-hmm. So you're like, why am I worried? What, like, right. what? <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. that's, I think that's how a lot of people feel. Mm-hmm. Cause I know Bella's worried about getting eliminated now, but last month she was like, send me home. <laughs> like she was like begging. To well, go. I mean today you, well, how come you didn't come to guys circle? I had my hour from two to three. Um, um, she like, before the goddess circle, she came to the goddess circle and was like, okay, I don't want to be in the goddess circle. And what? then just got up and walked away. And then Nikki went and got her and was like, come on, just come to, to the goddess circle, like chill out. You know, you like the goddess circle. So she came back and we were all doing her open sharing and it came to her, she's like, I just want to pass. And what we were talking about was like, what makes you feel supported? What makes you feel appreciated Mm -hmm. and we were all going around saying and she was like I just want to be skipped and you know we were kind of like oh you know don't don't do that we want to find out you know what we can do to make you feel better and she was like and then she just went into like full Bella and was like nobody here like supports me and um you know I feel so alone here and I don't blame her I know she does and and I don't know what I would do if I was her but um you know she kind of and then she called out Brie because I guess Brie and her got into a tiff in the computer about the computer today or something and it just like turned into like an argument it turned into like a full-blown argument in the goddess circle and I was like really (laughs) so you know Nikki and and Dedeker kind of were like okay you guys like you know we want you to work through this but not here you know yeah, it's not the place. Yeah, we'll mediate somewhere else. But I mean, you just try and ask Bella, like, and what I found weird, and this sounds like Bella, so I wasn't surprised. The, the, the story went like this. So Brie was sitting next to Bella on the computer, and Bella was getting ready for her time to come up, and Brie was sitting over there because it was almost her time. And Bella was working on the food order or whatever. Yeah, I remember remember this actually. I was there. Yeah, so Rob came over. This is what she said. Rob came over and um, 
Bella had just got talking, done talking to Brie and was like, hey, is it cool if I go over a few minutes? And Brie was like, yeah, just get it done, whatever. So then Rob comes over, he's like, Bella, what are you still doing on the computer? Get off the computer. And Brie was just like, Bella, stop fighting with Rob. Just get it done. Just get it done. Like, stop. Mm-hmm. You're, you're sitting on the computer arguing with Rob. I need the computer. Just stop arguing and just do your just thing. Just do it. Get yeah, off. yeah. Which is reasonable. Right. You know? And Bella felt like because she didn't automatically have her back that, like, um, Brie was in the wrong and whatever, whatever. And um, Brie was like, well, you know, to counter that, like, when you went to ask me if you could go over on your computer time, you didn't ask me, you asked Rob. Like, Brie was sitting right here, and Bella, you know how she does that thing. She'll turn to the next person and be like, Rob, can I go over on my computer time? It's not Rob's judgment call. Mm-hmm. If you're going to go so bad, Brie's sitting right there. Mm-hmm. Ask Brie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Brie was kind of like, you know, that made me feel pretty disrespected when you didn't ask me. And that does is something Bella does. Bella was like, no, I asked you for that. For Brie, like, no, you didn't. You asked Rob. Mm-hmm. And I only say I know that, that that's what she does because she's done it to me. I've been standing next to Bella, and she'll look at Nikki and go, Nikki, can you tell Hex this and this and this? And I'm like, Bella, from me to you, wait. I'm like, Bella, tell me that. Mm-hmm. It's like the weirdest thing. I've never encountered that. You know? And I remember I was there, and I was <clears> saying <throat> the same thing because I was after Bree's time, so, like, it would have thrown everything off for me, too, and I was just like, Bella we don't care, just get the food order done. Mm-hmm. And then she kept arguing with Brie, and I was just like, get it done. Like, mm-hmm. you know, you're wasting time. Argue yeah, with her get, after. Yeah, get, yeah, exactly. Like, you just do it. But, I mean, she took that in the goddess circle, and then it, like, became an issue there. And I was like, oh, my God. I didn't like what she did in our sharing session either. Yeah. I didn't like that. And, and imagine the same exact thing in the goddess circle. I was like, what the fuck? Can anything just be, like... Not personal. Right. We all have a lot of personal shit. I was kind of irritated at tea today. I didn't go down there and be like, right, right, T Taylor, you know. And there's a way to say how you feel without calling people out. Like mm-hmm. in that session, she could have just been like, you know, I feel really like lonely here. Alienated. I feel alienated. Instead of being like, you guys, mm-hmm. you guys. And we were just like, this is taking a turn. Like, that's not what it's for. Mm-hmm. You know, and that was said too. Like, don't call anybody out. Don't start a discussion with anybody. Don't bring anybody up. It's about you and how you're feeling. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. And I just, you put it so well when you said that it's like such a self-fulfilling prophecy. And I hate that that's the case, but it's so on point. Mm -hmm. And she's so emotionally draining to deal with that you'd rather just not engage, and then you look like a dick because you just Mm -hmm. completely like blow past this woman that you can see is hurting but at the same time like I I doubt that we can fix it because I don't know what she wants because I've been so I mean for a month and whatever I've been so patient with her and so Mm -hmm. giving with her and I've listened to her and I've tried to help her and it's just like it's so draining you know Mm -hmm. and I hate to look like the bad guy because trust me from what I saw yesterday I look like the bad guy Mm -hmm. and that's what really irritated me is like I've given her You're everything. the only person that, like, honestly gives her the genuine time of day. I mean, it was not good, but trust me on that. That's why when I hear people talking about it today, I'm like, please be careful what you're saying. Please be careful. Because it's, mm-hmm. for some reason or another, it's, I don't know if it's not getting translated, how she, her behavior, but it's mm-hmm. not. Yeah, I, there's, we've got to be looking like some kind of pack of wild animals mm-hmm. with her. Because the sympathy I see, even in the emails, I'm like... Guys, come on, get mm-hmm. real. Mm-hmm. You don't even understand mm-hmm. how ludicrous this, this, some of this is. It's not fair. It's not. And it's even not Amanda fair. is like, it's just that double. What does she call it? Double standard. Is she no. double brained or something? Oh, double yeah, minded. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, when she good, she can deal with it. I really. Bella, face changes. It does. I notice. It does. You the know. Whole face change. When she sat down in that in that uh, sharing circle. I knew. Mm-hmm. I looked right at her. The I'm color like, in her skin, like her everything, yeah, changes. her eyes, the glisten in her eyes. Changes. It's crazy. I've never seen anything like it. You can tell. You know. And even her eyebrows get pointy. I'm telling you, I don't believe in the Bible, but I would put my hand on a Bible and tell you that you can tell. Yeah, just by can. looking at her face. I agree. I totally agree. And skin. When I see her like that, I'm like, oh, what now? Her behaviors too. You know, you'll see her get up at 
five in the morning typing away feverishly on the computer, mm -hmm. but yet these problems still aren't getting solved. And it's just... I don't know what she does all day. I'll tell you what she does all day. Respond to my fucking emails. I'm like, get off my shit. I saw her responding to some of Chris's stuff. <sighs> I was like, Bella. I hesitate. It's so hard. Like, I drag, I drag her emails in her folder. I still do that for everyone. I but think when she I do goes it, through and genuinely, I think she reads all of our stuff. Yeah. She has to. There's mm -hmm. no way. So mm -hmm. I put every single email in me. And she wakes up before the new emails come in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I wonder, how did you read mm -hmm. the email in mm -hmm. my folder? She goes through our stuff. Well, and I just hate that she keeps... The th her throwing around the word auction, like, this is not... Trust me, I work in the internet marketing world. Like, if the auction... Like, I got the auction app, it malfunctioned, we got a refund. Like the only other option is eBay. That had a developer, Eric, the guy that comes, he mm -hmm. looked into it and was like, there's no other solution. You're just gonna, have. like, you know what I'm saying? It's not just me mm -hmm. saying that. And she keeps throwing on the word auction and people are emailing like, where's this auction that Bill is talking about? Where's this auction? So now I look like a bad guy because they can't find it and they're assuming that I'm just hiding it from everyone. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I keep telling them like, you have to stop using the word auction. Like you have to stop. Like. Mm -hmm. Your paintings aren't up because I can't get into the site. Like, we have a network guy coming on Monday. That's how big of a problem it is. Like, stop making me look like the bad guy by talking about it all the time, mm -hmm. you know? Like, I told you I would. Like, mm -hmm. I hook everybody up, and I, I put myself last. Like, I don't have anything on the website, and that's fine, you know? But stop making me look like the bad guy. Or, like, you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Like, I don't tell you how to paint. <laughs> right? It's just not fair. I just like she's like always saying stuff like, "Oh, hex, put your." <laughs> <laughs> she's like, "Put your jewelry up for auction." I'm like, "No, my jewelry is a set price. I don't want to try and do people out of like I'm already thankful enough they even buy this stuff, let alone like try and make them compete for it. Like that's stupid. It sells too. Like, and I tried to tell her like, well, she originally was like, "Let's put my paintings up for like." She, I put her paintings up for like 225 because she wanted that and she wanted them for more but I was like Bella we can't like I work in business trust me like I know if you let me put them up for less they'll sell really quick mm -hmm. so then one day well, you're, I, you're what she's what they call like dollar smart or what do they call it penny dumb and dollar smart mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's like yeah, you can sell one painting a month for that price, but why wouldn't you just yeah. rather bang out fifty? Yeah, exactly. So I put it up for two twenty five, one of her paintings, two two twenty five, two hundred. They sat for like three days, and I was like, "Well, I want I'm gonna lower the price because I know she's like feeling down. She doesn't want anything. Mm -hmm. I know they'll sell when I lower the price. It'll make her feel good." Mm -hmm. Lowered it to a hundred, and then seventy five for the one. Sold in like six hours. Mm -hmm. I told her that, and she was like, "Why'd you lower the <clears> price? <throat> These should be up for auction." And I was just like, like. I was like, I was trying to help you. I was trying to like, I mean, these help are, you out. Bella's a really great artist, but we're not Rembrandt. I'm not fucking Jacob the Jeweler. I'm not Betsy. I'm not up there trying to slang my shit like I know what I'm doing. Bid. No. Like, if you want to buy it for 20 bucks, oh my God, thank you so much. Yeah, literally, yeah. That's why your stuff sells so quick. Like, you know, it's just a, it's a lot. But it's already ridiculous the price. She just doesn't, she, cause she takes, cause she still, I don't know if she takes it too personal or she's too individualistic, but it's just like, this isn't about Bella, you. like I said, likes to have that ammunition. Oh, I I'm know. making this much and doing this I much. I know she does. No one else sees that, but mm. I saw that when she stopped waking me up for the cows. Mm -hmm. I knew it. Cause she was, she's a martyr. She was waking me up for weeks. Bella's and all of a sudden a martyr. she stopped. Cause she's got that martyr syndrome. Mm -hmm. She wants, she wants she puts herself in abusive situations mm -hmm. and um, them plays off of it. To say that everyone's trying to sabotage her. Uh -huh. And people believe it. Trust me, they do it's for just, some reason. I've never heard anyone in my life use the word sabotage and attack and bully more times than I've heard her. I mean, it's, it bumps me out because there's one I, she can't, I told you when she like, clicked over and that night she was talking to me a minute about how hungry she was mm -hmm. i literally told her i was like bella go take a banana off the shelf i won't tell anybody i know you're hungry mm -hmm. and the fact that like i did that for her and yet it's still getting spun and twisted like i'm out to get bella and i'm trying to get her out of here and like just really disappoints me you know and i know i can't control it but it was just like dude really <laughs> no none of that i mean that's counterproductive to the mm-hmm I and mean, then you never know, maybe eventually it will all start, start to come out. Maybe we just have to endure this and mm -hmm. then pe mm -hmm. eventually people will kind of see. Because the only time...
she did, and it was so fucked up. She's like, oh, sleep. first of all, A, Bella came here with a sleeping bag. I'm not stupid. I've seen her with it a thousand times. Second, no one made Bella sleep outside. No one asked Bella to sleep no. outside. So when she's kind of do, does this little, And she like, still has her corner. Yeah. And no when she moved their stuff to no. her corner. And when she does this little, oh my God, I've been sleeping outside. Like... What are you doing? Then don't sleep outside. It's not it's not fair to all of us. I'm not just saying me, it's not fair to all of us to make all of us look like we are like like attack pieces mode. of shit. Like gang mentality. Oh, we see the weak link, we're trying to kill her. Like what the fuck? No, this is a woman that like clearly is comfortable being a victim. Mm -hmm. She really, really finds she likes sympathy. She loves sympathy. She loves to be petted and baby, mm -hmm. you're okay, mm -hmm. you're strong, mm -hmm. you're this, you're this. And there are a lot of people out there like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Constant kind of, she needs constant um, reassurance approval and, and approval. reassurance and soothing and attention and coddling. And like, and she, she hasn't found it here naturally. So she's really gone like to extremes to receive it. And I think she likes people going, oh, poor Bella. I really do. I think she puts herself in positions where People have no other choice but to go, oh, poor Bella. We're not starving you. Yeah. Heaven forbid we ask her a question about what she, about what the whole, like, painting thing means. Right. Heaven forbid you were to not just go, Bella, go, baby. <laughs> Take whatever you want. Right. You know, you poor, you poor dying little bird. Right. You know, heaven forbid someone say, well, you know, how much money are you going to be getting? Right. I think Bella really thinks she's the only person hungry here. I'm hungry every fucking day. Guess how much my food costs? $3 a fucking week. Still here. Still feel great. Not dying. And there's no logic. That's what I really don't like because there's no logic. If, no. if you're hurting, give me some logic. Tell me what's wrong. Tell me how we can fix it. What's the solution? Nothing. There, I'll be very agreeable. The circle. Just talk nice to me. I feel like that's the thing too. People understand like 14 people cannot good be people. wrong. Good people, good people cannot be wrong. Even Amanda is like, you are whacked lady. Cannot be wrong. And Amanda is always on like the underdog mm -hmm. side, like mm -hmm. trying to figure it out. But I mean, it's just, I've, I've, I've literally heard Bella contradict herself in the same breath. With the app, when she got the apple thing at breakfast, she was like, she, like I saw her hammer. She's like, I'm just gonna try a little bit of this, and I was like, Oh God, all hell's about to break loose. I was like, Oh no, and Aaron was like, Uh-uh, you know. But I understand his point because we just gave her all that money to buy. All, you know, it's like really, it's, it's the principle, and this is what makes it even worse. Didn't we just have this discussion yesterday? And didn't she swear up and down she wasn't gonna touch any of the food? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My God. It's just, it's unfortunate. It really is. Like, this, same goes with me. If 14 people here thought I was a bitch, it's probably because I'm acting like mm -hmm. a bitch. If two people think that, okay, maybe that's a personal issue. Right. If 14 people think I'm acting a certain way, it's probably because I am. You're not all making that up in your mind, mm -hmm. you know? Like, no, I understand I'm not sympathetic towards the fact that I think that she I feel bad for right. that. Oh, yeah. that. I don't feel bad that it's a group making her that way. Right. I don't feel bad for her in the sense that we are making her that way. Right. I think she is that way, mm -hmm. and I feel bad for her for that. Mm -hmm. But I don't feel bad that we're, like, attacking this poor, delicate, loving flower that's just been wanting to not. give love and all this stuff. We're Bella not. doesn't realize sometimes when she asks for shit, she seems real shitty. Mm -hmm. Bella can get a, t a two, too. Like, don't get it twisted. She comes up to me and rubs me the wrong fucking way. With the archery thing, you didn't do any, like, I know no, you, I mean, you weren't like, you're, you weren't like, you're, Bella, give me that, you your turn, and that was, it was presented, mm -hmm. she came up and was like, heck did this, and I'm like, I highly doubt that. She does, okay. like, uh, stuff in her brain that I'm like, simply, I picked the bow up and I went to walk away, and she wasn't even down, she came running at me, mm -hmm. she had already gone. Mm -hmm. So I thought, okay, mm -hmm. well done, cool, awesome. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, mm -hmm. everybody's on the tractor, feet away from the the thing. What do you want me to do? Mm -hmm. Tell everybody, no, everybody stop their day, but I was gonna shoot this boat. Mm -hmm. Bella, I mean, if you were if you were twelve at a birthday party and you didn't give the smack the pinata, I get it. But I mean you're thirty four bow and we're here a lot. If you wanna shoot another time you will. You know? By thirty four, do you mean forty three? Is she forty three? She is she's in her forties. She's like forty three or forty five. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just you know, 
it's unfortunate. It really is because it's, that's what I was, I was telling someone today, like, it's actually been very easy at the end of the month because I feel like the person is like, a weak link starts to clearly appear mm-hmm. like two weeks into the month, you know? And the part that upset me the most was Nikki was like, oh, just because someone's different, are we going to vote them out? No. If Bella could clearly articulate and less emotionally ask for the things that she wanted and just be concise in her needs, I would understand that. But Bella goes to some of these extremes that just are not coherent. I mean, you and I are different on paper. Mm -hmm. I'm not, we're not pushing each other out of the boat. No. You know what I'm saying? Like on paper, I should be the most hated person here. I'm the atheist. I am a hunter. Like, right. If anybody, I should have one foot out the door all the time, you know? But I mean, she just, uh, she gets these things in her head and she just runs with it. Whatever makes Bella look like the victim is whatever Bella's going to do. Mm-hmm. And she um, trips herself up all the time because that's all she has in her head when she kind of says these things out loud is how can I kind of, you know, spin this in my favor and make everybody feel bad for me. And then she gets, she trips over her own lies all the time. I watch her do it. I, I watched Chris and her have a conversation. And the last time her and Amanda were talking, mm-hmm. I did this. I watched her and Amanda go back and forth and I watched Bella just... I felt bad for her. I was like, you, I go, you guys, you have to stop. Just stop, because this is the most absurd thing I have ever Mm -hmm. witnessed in my life, Mm -hmm. and I feel insane just watching it. And I can't Mm -hmm. even believe that this is really what's happening in front of me. Mm -hmm. And I kind of said it to Amanda, like, like I was kind of like, just stop, just stop. You know, don't, I mean, you're gonna drive yourself nuts. And uh, Bella comes over to me, she's like, thank you. I I just, um, there was no getting through to her. And I was like, God, no. That's how it was with her and Aaron the other morning. It was like, Aaron had a point, but it was just like, the point wasn't, you know, it was never going to be received. Mm-mm. No. It was never going to be like, no, you're sorry, I'm right. I shouldn't have taken a piece of that. You're exactly. right. Exactly. There's no accountability on her, on her end ever about anything, which is frustrating because that is my favorite thing. Right. Accountability is my favorite thing. I will tell you all fucking day if I've been wrong. And if I don't, if I think I'm wrong and I'm not really sure, I'll ask somebody mm-hmm. else. Did, do you think I fucked up? Mm-hmm. If I will, I'll go okay. and apologize. Right. Because I'm fully capable of fucking up quite often. Right. And I will contradict myself and I will be a hypocrite and that's just my nature. Right. But if I find out that what I did was fucked up, I go say I'm sorry. Not Bella. She's going to keep spinning that and spinning it and spinning it and make it work in her favor no matter what. No matter what. Mm-hmm. Bella's mm-hmm. not okay mm-hmm. with Bella. Um, being wrong mm-hmm. even when it's so clear mm-hmm. like some people are defensive but then when you're like yo you said this you said this they're like all right fine yeah. i did i'm sorry you could have it you could go back and watch There's no way you just forgot what left mm-hmm. your mouth. Mm-hmm. No way. I mean, I literally heard her say, I don't remember what the context was or anything, but she was talking to Chris. She was like, um, I didn't make the call alone. And then Chris was like, why didn't you make the call alone? She's like, I made the call alone because I was scared. You just said you didn't make the call alone. Like when, during all this art. So it was just like the most conscious. And it's all the time. I don't understand it. Did you just forget that you just said that you didn't call alone? That you abided by the group's rules and didn't use the phone alone to order anything? And then you just said you called alone because you were scared for your health and felt like you had to order something? Oh my God. Doesn't make any sense. No. Was one of them, I mean, because then he called her out on it and then she switched it up. And then she was like, well, I did because... Like, I'm the kind of person, if someone called me out, if you came up to me and was like, Kristen, I heard you said this, this, and this, I'd be like, okay, you're right. I did say it. Here's why I said it. And if I feel like I'm wrong, I'll apologize. Mm-hmm. I'll never try and I can't, like, I, you know, I've been caught in too many lies in my life mm-hmm. to do, to still lie. I don't do it anymore. It's too well, hard. It's like, 
I mean, the first thing I just caught red-handed that tried to cover it up. It tries to still lie. I hate that. And I used to do it. Don't yeah, I'm me not too. Act like I'm some yeah, kind no, of me too. I used to be. Me too. I used to blue in the face fight with you. Me too. About even when I know I'm wrong. But I'm still trying to be right. And, and even so, I wouldn't let you have it. Right. Even if I knew I was yeah. wrong. Like you would just walk away and be like, I'm done with it. That's what I would do. I'd yep. be like, I'm done with it. Not going to let you have it. And she still does that. Mm -hmm. She's just... But like, heaven forbid you were to tell her that. And then sometimes she seems so receptive. She'd be like, yeah, there's times that right. she's very receptive. But, it's, it and hasn't but it hasn't been the past week. But, but it doesn't like go anywhere. Mm -hmm. She'd be like, you're right. I'm going to do that from now on. Mm -hmm. You are so right. Mm -hmm. And then she'd do the same fucking yeah. thing. Yeah. And they're like, can't believe it. But we're assholes. We're we're bad guys. We're just trying to like kill this poor innocent bird. Here's the best part. Just found this one out the other day. So I guess there's type of bird called tarantula hawk. Mm -hmm. You might have seen them. They're big black wasps with orange wings. They're massive, and I guess it's one of the most painful stings you could ever receive. Oh. So I'm sitting on the on the grass with Rob one morning, and one comes flying over me, and I'm not shitting you. I saw that son of a bitch come at me. 